Hello and welcome back to Introduction to Brackets. In this lesson, we're going to talk about what Brackets is and we're going to talk about where we can find it and install it. Now, Brackets is an open source code editor for front end web development. And it's a very lightweight piece of software that allows you to develop in HTML and CSS while watching your changes take place live in the browser window as you type. So as you start making changes to your HTML, you can look over to your browser window and see those changes immediately taking place without having to save your work. And it really saves a lot of time. Usually in other text editors, you got to save your work, jump over to the browser, refresh it, and keep going back and forth. But with brackets, it all takes place automatically. Your changes are immediately reflected in the browser window as you enter in your HTML and CSS code. Now with your JavaScript, if you're including JavaScript in your HTML files, then that's not reflected in the window until you actually save your JavaScript file. But with all of your HTML and CSS, for the most part, you will see those changes reflected immediately as you type. And this can come in really handy when you're initially coding a web page, when you're first building out the look and feel of your website, because it really saves a lot of time, like I mentioned before, that you would normally spend going back and forth between your browser and your text editor. So if you want to find Brackets, you can find it at brackets.io, and uh, you can read through the website to get more information about it. There's a lot of really good information. There's some videos at the bottom that kind of give you an introduction to Brackets. And, uh, and on the main page, you can see this giant download link. So you can download Brackets here and install it on your system. Now you'll notice that underneath the big download button, there's another button for other downloads. We can click on that and see what our other options are there. And this takes you to the GitHub site. And if you really know what you're doing, you can go in and take a look at the source code here or download different versions of brackets. But for our purposes, we're going to be going back to the website and we'll be installing the main version of brackets that, that shows up here on the left. And you can see right now I'm working with release 38. So if you're watching this video sometime in the future, we might have a different release with more features or fixed bugs or things like that. Uh, but I'm going to be working with release 38. Also, it's important to point out that the live development or the live HTML features only work in the Google Chrome browser. So if you don't have the Chrome browser installed yet, I would highly suggest that you install that before we start working in brackets because you're going to need that browser in order to see these live HTML updates as we type in our code. So as we move forward, we're going to talk a lot about what brackets is. We're going to demonstrate some of the features that ship along with brackets, and we're going to talk about some other plugins that we can get for brackets to help extend its functionality and make it even more useful than it already is. And then once we cover some of those basics, we'll start building our own sample project using brackets. So thank you for watching, and we'll get started in the next video.